Okay, so now we're gonna take a look at some of the muscles of the forearm here. And we're gonna start on the underside of the arm. And on the underside of the arm, this is where the flexors are located. And you can imagine that if these muscles were pulled on, they would be pulling the toes and curling them and thus flexing them. And so the one that you notice right here superficially, this is the flexor digitorum superficialis. It's also called the palmaris longus. If you go a little bit to the side of the arm here, there's another flexor. This is the flexor carpi ulnaris. And then you can kind of feel that there's the ulna in between separating these flexors from the extensors here. And then there's three extensors that we're going to learn. They're all in a row. Maybe I'll start with this one. And this one has a, a bit of a, here, a teardrop shape to it this one, and this is called the extensor digitorum communis. This is the extensor digitorum lateralis, and this is the extensor carpi ulnaris, uh, and then it's next to the flexor carpi ulnaris. There's a little bit of a, a shape difference here in that the extensor digitorum communis has a bit of a a teardrop shape, it narrows as it gets closer to the little paw, and then this one, it stays the same width and um, looks kind of like a long rectangle. That's the lateralis. Um, taking a look on this underside of the arm here, here's where the epitrochlearis is.